Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ascendant SMP. In today's episode, we are going to start work on our mega base. I know, episode 3, it's a little bit ambitious to start our mega base right now. However, I think I have everything I need to. I have a location, I have a concept, and I have all of the tools required. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's episode. Also, as it stands right now, we will be fighting the Ender Dragon later in the episode, so stay tuned for that and let's get into the video. All right, the first thing I wanna do in today's episode is just show you guys my base concept. So right here in front of us, we've got a thing. This took me about 30 minutes because I structure blocked everything, uh, but everything is one block off. That's just a quick little disclaimer. So everything will be perfect on the realm. I'll make sure of it. And this is probably gonna take me many, many hours because I have to flatten the land, gather the resources, all that good stuff. Um, but the idea here is that in between every staircase, there's a nether portal, and these are far enough away that they won't link to one another, which allows me to have a little area in the nether which I can select what part of the base I want to go to. So let's say, for example, every single uh, little quadrant of the circle would represent a different farm. So let's say green is iron farms and villagers. So this is everything villagers, iron farms, villager trading halls, all that good stuff. That would be in green. And then let's say over here in blue, we've got things like sugarcane, bamboo, melons and pumpkins, all the crop farms. And then yellow and purple we can fill with other stuff. Maybe yellow is storage and, you know, crafting, super smelters. And then purple, I don't know, we can figure something out with purple. But the concept is there. See what I mean? I have a concept, I just don't have it all built up yet. I think that this is a cool idea. I also like how it's color coordinated. I think that's also a cool idea and I want to incorporate that in the final design. Uh, but now we're gonna hop on to the Ascendant SMP server and I'm gonna show you the area I have picked out for this mega build. All right, back on the realm now and this is the area I have decided to build in. I think that this area is gonna work out really well because as you can see, it's already pretty clear. I'll have to remove a lot of the hills though and I'll also have to mine out parts of the forest. The other advantage to building here is that Look at this beautiful grass, all right? Last time we built in a spruce biome and it was disgusting. Leaves were gross, grass was gross, everything was gross. This time we get the nice plains grass. I think that this is good, all right? <laughs> I really like this color of grass and I really, I, I can't do spruce again. That spruce grass was really getting me down. The other thing is that I also have access to dark oak wood, which is involved in our build. And on top of that, it's just kind of surrounded by trees. That way we're not looking out to an open plains area because it is fully surrounded. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much the only reasons why I want to build here. The other thing is that there is a village over there and the community builds is right over there as well. So I'm going to get to it. I'm going to start mining out. All right. This is the grindy process, right? We've got to prepare the land. Maybe I'll do a third person time lapse. I'll see. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna start mining with my efficiency for diamond shovel. So uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, you're gonna have to pardon my voice for the next couple of minutes, I just woke up. But as you can see, we have got all of this area flattened and measured out. So we now have a giant circle. I did this all last night. On top of that, I also went hunting because I was very low on food. And now we have about 15 stacks of various meats, which is always good. I don't think I'll be needing food for a while. Also, just the wood that I got from clearing this area out and then the diamonds that I carried over here from my skeleton grinder. So this is what we've got. It's actually took me about six hours. It doesn't seem like it did, but it did because, well, it just did. Um, but the other thing is that we aren't going to be fighting the Ender Dragon anymore because Blitzy and Real did it in a stream. I was supposed to be there streaming with them. However, what ended up happening was my phone didn't go off because it died. So my alarm never went off. So I just kind of slept through the fight and then I woke up about two hours later. And uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks. I was gonna be there. It was gonna be awesome. I was gonna get some video out of it. However, there is a silver lining. Uh, I am actually terrified of fighting the Ender Dragon because every time I do it, I always lose all my stuff. This time I don't lose any of my stuff and I can still go and get an elytra before they are all gone. So I'm gonna go end rating in a bit after I measure everything out. And then we're gonna have an elytra because I am sick and tired of running everywhere. I feel so slow. So very slow, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna measure everything out. I'm going to get this middle bit constructed 
and then I will see you guys in a minute. Actually, quick change of plans. We're not going to build a middle thing. We're going straight to end busting. I really don't want to be the last one to get an elytra. So I'm going to go get an elytra and then I'll be right back. Uh, hopefully I record a clip in the end. All right, two hours later, and this is what I've got. I was out for an entire two hours. So keep in mind, two hours. All right, two hours, two hours. I got one elytra, one dragon head, 22 shulker shells, two enchantment books, and some enchanted iron gear. Two hours, two hours, all right? As you can tell, I am not one for end busting. I hate the end, I hate the nether. However, I really needed an elytra, and this is why I let other people get end shops up and running. Two hours, and I got one elytra. So, uh, yeah, hopefully someone opens up an end shop in the near future because I would really like to get my hands on a second elytra. That way, if I lose this one, I have a spare elytra. Um, but yeah, now that that's out of the way, I've got all my end stuff I need. I've got 11 shulker boxes. Once I craft those up, I'm going to start work on the giant platform in the middle of the circle. So with that being said, let's get straight into building the platform. <laughs> I kind of did that clip like an intro. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna build the platform now. All right, so I've just been working on actually getting the layout done and building up one of these sides. So now we have this area pretty much done. I just gotta throw in the cobblestone and build the nether portal. But as you can see, it's a lot bigger than in my testing world. Um, it, uh, everything seems a lot smaller when you're in creative mode and you've got infinite resources and infinite space. But uh, when you actually throw trees and stuff around here, it's a lot bigger and uh, when you can't fly it is also a lot bigger as well but I'm gonna start work on doing all the other sides and hopefully get all of this laid out I'm gonna go over to my skeleton grinder and pick up all of my cobblestone once I'm done with the framework so uh yeah I'll see you guys in a minute but this is going to be mega all right, so I have the majority of the framework all laid out now. I just gotta run over to my skeleton grinder, grab some cobblestone and fill in all of these holes. However, while I was building this, I came to the realization that I think for the sake of still being able to add on to the base, I don't believe I will be putting in the nether portals. I think it would be a good idea to have a second staircase that leads down into a slightly lower layer and then I can have something underneath of here. But again, it's just a concept and an idea. It may develop over time, but I'm not gonna be putting in nether portals. However, I am still gonna be putting in the cobblestone. So I'm gonna run over to my skeleton grinder, grab that along with a couple other things, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I have everything done except for putting in the nether portals. However, as I stated earlier, we are going to wait on the nether portals because I still don't really know if I wanna put anything on the inside. So leave your comments down below what you think I should do with it. But now that we have an elytra, let's take a quick look at what we have got done. Also, it feels so good to fly again. Oh, we're getting the sunset. That is pretty friggin' cool. For episode three, that's pretty good. I mean, I've probably only been on the server for maybe 25 hours in total, maybe 30. This probably took me about eight hours to build. But I mean, come on, that looks pretty good. This is gonna look really mega once I get the colors for the concrete in. However, that is also going to wait into a future episode because I don't have any sand or any of that stuff and that'll take me a while to get. But yeah, this looks pretty freaking cool. All right, yeah. So leave your comments down below what you think I should do in the middle. And also, one last thing before I leave, I have gotten a ton of comments asking what texture pack I use or if you could get a texture pack download. I actually use a customized texture pack uh, by Bedrock Tweaks, so I leave a link to their website in the description, and that's just where you kind of select what you want your texture pack to include. So you can go there and you can customize your own, and I will also leave a download link for my personal uh, customized texture pack as well. However, all credit goes to Bedrock Tweaks because they did make the entire texture pack. I just chose everything that I wanted in it. Uh, with that being said though, that is going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Comment down below once again what you think I should do in the middle, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I'm still wearing a pumpkin. Alright, bye bye guys.